Hey, yo, what's cracking, man? It's your boy Z Kid back at it with another YouTube video for y'all today. And today, man, I got a special guest with me, man. He goes by the name of 95, you know what I'm saying? Baby. You know, let, let him know how you spell it, man. Can you spell it? 95. Yeah. Simple, baby. Simple. Boom. There you go, man. I like that, though. That feels sick. So, yeah, we're going to tap in with him, with the big homie, one time for the mm -hmm. one time. So, let's just get straight into it, man. So, how did you come up with the name 95? 95. All right. Basically, the homie came up with it. Okay. I did not. And he always tells me shit about it. Like, he always tells me I'm going to sue you and all this shit. Playing around, he ain't going to sue me. <laughs> but anyways, um, we were just chilling one time at the park, and I was changing my name because I used to go by my last name, Harmon. And I wanted something new because, like, my whole style was changing and everything. So he was, he just came up with it. Like, like literally, what year were you born? I'm like, nigga, you know. And he's like, 95. And I'm like, oh, and we're going to put the D in, in the middle and, like, 95. And, yeah. It just literally came up just like that. See, that's that's dope, crazy. man. That's like create creativity at its finest. Yeah, man. right. Sick. Like nobody yeah. has that name. I mean, everybody has like ninety five or blank blank ninety five, but mm -hmm. like ninety five. Yeah, that's right. Because that's how I feel like that's how everybody says it. Yeah, right? exactly. Ninety five. I, I feel that vibe, man. We were talking like, yesterday too about like if there was an evil clone of me, it would be ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah, you know what <laughs> I mean. Yeah. <laughs> like That'd evil be funny, clone yeah. and shit. That, you should do that for like your alter ego. Yeah, right. <laughs> That'd be dope as hell. Sleep ninety five. <laughs> Testament, bro. So how old are you, man? I'm good, bro. I just came from the homie Luis's house. He just popped the house, bro. Shout out to Luisito and Irene, yeah. bro. I'm sipping on my handy. You already know. I mix it with the EG, bro. Double cup, bro. There you go. Hey, you say that in uh, one of your lyrics, right? Yeah, yeah bro. On anesthesia, yeah, bro. Anesthesia. That's the handy with, with the, the EG. EG. That's a like, cold okay, drink, bro. Shoot. Yeah, bro. So that's what we on, bro. We good, though. That's dope, man. So how old are you, man? I'm 95. 95? He's 95 right here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shout bro. out to you, Keith, 300. You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Same thing. I feel you, Keith, bro. I'm 95. That's why I literally tell everybody. Bro. That's dope. So where are you from, man? You born and raised here in the, in the team? I am, yeah. I was born here in Tucson, bro. And yeah, just been here my whole life and everything. That's dope. That's real dope. So how did you get your musical career to start, man? Like, when did it all start? Shit, man. Um, literally just right after high school, I started with beats first. Okay. So, so you're like, a producer. Yeah, I was starting with producer. Yeah, because if you don't know, I make my own beats and stuff. Oh yeah. Like of everything course. I go on, I produce myself. But I started as just that, and then I just started writing and writing because I've always written. I've I started writing like seventh grade by starting poems. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, dude, that's I would dope. write poems to girls and stuff, <laughs> and then they would figure out. And I was okay. Like, Shit, cause they would, you know, like they, right. they talk, you know. Exactly. Girls talking. You're a little school. smooth, smooth, the smooth talk. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I tried, hey, bro. I had to get it, bro. <laughs> but I started like that, like just it was all poems, and then eventually it became like lyrics, and just eventually I had notebooks filled and filled with just a bunch of lyrics and stuff. Right. And I didn't start like singing how I do, I started rapping. Okay, so you're like hardcore lyricist? Or yeah, more I like, tried to be. <laughs> like a J. Cole or like... Yeah, kind of like on that vibe. Yeah. I was like on that route, you know? Okay, yeah, Because yeah. I look up to Jay-Z a lot. So oh, of course. I okay. wanted to be ho. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I feel that. Everybody yeah. wants to be ho. Yeah, you know right? Like, who does it? Yeah. You think I want to be ho? They know about it. tripping, bro. Exactly. So you started, so we said... In elementary school, writing those yeah, poems. Yeah, middle school, writing poems. And then you really started doing it in high After school. High school, yeah. But then it, I'm not gonna lie, I lagged a little bit. But it took me a while to figure out myself. Yeah, of course. I feel like I had to figure out myself because I did release some rap music. Uh huh. But then I was like, man, this ain't working. This ain't me. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. I took a little hiatus and I kind of just figured out myself. I went through some shit and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do whatever. Of course. And since then, I've been doing whatever the fuck I want. Like, dead ass, bro. That's and I was like, man, I must try to sing. Now I'm going to try to make beats different. I'm going to try to innovate. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to actually, be... like, stand for something. Right. You don't want to fall yeah. in the crowd in the mix of yeah. all this mumble yeah. rap or whatever. Yeah, going exactly. Down. And it was very easy for me to do, honestly, because I just had to literally be myself. Right. I felt like the artist I was before wasn't me. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I felt that, man. Yeah. You know, though, you're able to grow into the artist you are yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. You're still growing. I mean, you're still learning and everything. Yeah. So that's real A lot of people tell me, like, oh, would you rather, like, have blown up, like, earlier? And, you know, oh, yeah. and I'm like, honestly, no. Because, like, one, I'd be stupid. I'd waste my money. <laughs> I know it, bro. I know, dude. But, and two, like, I feel like everything that I've been through that's made me 95, mm -hmm. it's, like, been worth it. You worth know what I mean? Right. Like, exactly. Worth it, like, for sure. You know? I feel that. So I don't, mm. That's real dope. Yeah. So, what are some? Who are some of your musical influences? Mm. Influences, my bad. You said uh, Jay Z was one of your yeah. biggest ones. Oh, dude. Hove. When it comes to business, bro, I think like Hov, bro. Yeah. Of like course. that, bro. I will stab you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, bro. I'm just playing, bro. We PG. But anyways, Melanie Martinez. You know who? Yes, she is? Melanie Martinez. Okay. Love Melanie. I got vibes. Okay. Just like her style, like it's very. 
like unique and she's herself you know right. what i mean exactly. so that she taught me like i can actually like let out my feelings and like if i want to cry i'm gonna fucking cry i'm right. gonna fuck you know what i mean exactly she kind of gave me that like spirit that's dope so melanie a lot uh look up to kendrick a lot just because she's just beast you yeah, know what i mean it, man. kendrick sia i like sia, sia? okay lot. i like that vibe okay. yeah it's like that's i like dope. pop stars bro yeah, people cool. sleep on pop stars yeah bro. i agree i'm right really bro true. you know what i mean exactly but mostly yeah like I would say, if I had to pick five, Jay-Z, Melanie, Sia, Kanye, and probably, um, probably Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? Yeah. You Classic. love Weezy? Yeah. I love Weezy, man. I didn't start liking Weezy until I got older, mm-hmm. only because I didn't, like, the lyrics just passed right through my head. Oh, and when you re-listen to right, that, exactly, Weezy, it's like, huh? whoa, yeah, what did he just say? Like, I don't okay, know if that happened to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that man. That did happen to me. I listened to the Carter 3 a couple years yep. ago again, Uh huh. because that came out when I was, like, in 8th grade. Right. So I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like, damn, I wish I had some yeah, right? words and similes like that, man. That's right? crazy. Like, Lollipop's not the only banger there. Right? right, exactly. So, what kind of music did you grow up on? What do you listen to mm-hmm. in the household? I mean, you talked, you said you're black and Mexican. Yeah. Hey, Kano, black skin like me, you know, fellow brother. Yeah, there you go, bro. <laughs> That's how we do it. So, what did you grow up on, man? Like, um, I don't even remember, but it was a lot of just the music my mom had in the house, you know, the right. Pablo Montero. Okay. Um, I used to watch Revelde. Do you remember that show? No, I don't. Nah, no. but well, they would like sing and stuff, so like I got a little inspiration in that. <laughs> That's you know dope. what I mean? Um, you know that song, the Kryptonite song? Yeah, yeah, actually, I do. You, you yeah, know yeah, that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, song? About. yeah, yeah. that song was my shit, bro. <laughs> so, like, a lot of music yeah. like that, you know what I mean? Right. And then, of course, like Jay Z and an Eminem and all this right. stuff, you know? Exactly. That's but, like, really early growing on, it was just like. Songs like that from like Pablo Monte. Yeah. <laughs> Random songs, you know. That's real dope, man. So, who inspires you, man? Like, who, who, really, who do you go hard for? I mean, like, why I work as hard as exactly, I do. Exactly. Yeah. Of course. Well, like, of course, like my family and my friends, you know, and the whole ghost gang and everything. But, right. like, overall, overall, it's like the people. Because lately, I've been making big impacts on people. Of course. And that like fucking pushes me like hard to like even. Just keep making that impact. Right. And that's kind of what inspires me. Like when I'm making the music and I feel like I'm at a stuck point, I just think about like, okay, I know this fan needs this. I know this fan needs to hear this. You right. know what I mean? That's why I'd be talking my ass off. You yeah. Know? Like exactly. telling people like embrace, embrace, embrace. And I guess that's why I go so hard because I, I really want to just stand up for the fact that we should all embrace. You know what I mean? Right. Like exactly. embrace anything, bro. Like from pain to... You know, like, I've had kids tell me, like, crazy shit. Like, I can't even, like, un- like comprehend, really, just because, yeah. like, I'm not going to get into detail, of course, yeah. of what they tell me, but, like, just stuff like, oh, your song makes me go through the day and all this yeah. stuff, or it makes me feel better, makes me less contemplate things that we shouldn't be contemplating. Exactly. And I'm just like, oh, shit, this is what I'm here to do. You know what right. I mean? And it's because I felt it. I know that these people feel it just like me. You know what I mean? Right. And I yeah. guess that just, that little, like... Just that little fact like makes me go hard, you know exactly. what I mean? Like I do it for them at the end of the day, you know? That's real dope, Like man. family and everything, that's a given, like for sure, bro. Exactly. We all eating, bro. Right. But like my main goal right here, or, like my main goal is to make sure I make an impact. Yep. That's what I'm doing. What I'm you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm talking about, bro. That's dope, man. So how would you describe your sound and style, man? I, mean, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Cause I mean, I sing a lot over like chords and stuff. Right. My beats are kind of different. Versatile, I guess, too, but... Of course. Yeah, I guess... I hear it. If I could um, describe it, vulnerable. Vulnerable? Very vulnerable. Yeah, you know vulnerable. what I mean? Like, no, that fake shit that everybody's talking about, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, like, yeah. We hear you through your music, man. I listen to a lot of your stuff, man. Thank you. And it was great to hear because it's refreshing, you know what I mean? Yeah. To the ear, and to the mind, and to the soul. It's like, he's not talking about flexing this money. He's not yeah. talking about the bad bitches he'd be fucking. It's like... Nah, like, this girl hurt me, mm-hmm. this is how I'm feeling, this is how I'm yeah, going get through exactly, it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And for anything. And, that's, and I'm that's not a... afraid to be vulnerable. Exactly. Like, I let that go a long time ago. Right. That's really and ever right. since I have been, I've been happier, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And, and that's, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Like, mm-hmm. once you actually embrace and let go, embrace all this stuff, you actually become happier. Yeah, let's yourself. get let's get into the vulnerability, actually. Yeah, I, mean, I want to ask you some, some, like, social justice type of question for for me i mean i know as a black and mexican male mm. we're not supposed to show any pain or weakness yeah. or we're supposed well, to be alpha me, yeah. we're supposed to be i'll pop you up nigga what's up yeah. like <laughs> yeah, i but, still pop you exactly up, that's what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah. like you're it's okay to be vulnerable and i think that's what mm. men need to understand that it's okay to feel 
feelings. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That and it's it. absolutely okay. Like, I get it. You, people have personas to keep up and all that stuff. Right. But, like, I just film more me when exactly. I just actually let it go. You know what I mean? Right. Because, you, you know, you're right. Like, I, we grow up in kind of like in a household where, like, you shouldn't be crying. You're the man. Especially me. I'm the oldest brother. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Like, you, you can't be crying. You can't be doing this. But at the same time, like, like why not? If I want to let it out, yeah. I'm going to let it out. You know what I mean? Exactly. And my friends know, dude. Like, my friends know, bro. Like, <laughs> they're keeping 100 with me. If I want to lay my shoulder on them, bro, yeah. then they'll do it back, bro. And we 100. You know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. So, so they accept my vulnerability, you know? Yeah. And I feel like everybody has. No one really tells me any shit. And if you do, like... I don't know, I'll cry. <laughs> and I'll be trash. You know what right, I mean? Exactly. People tend nope. to forget that anger is an emotion too. Yep. We will beat your ass, right. man. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, we about this. But like, that's not the point though. The point is just like, the fact that I can show off my vulnerability, how I do, gives people mm -hmm. the strength to do it as, as well. You know what right. I mean? Right, exactly. Crazy, yeah. Because at the last show, I was at, at, at Asky's um, album release party. Uh -huh. Shout out to Asky. Asky. Yep. Go, bro. You ain't know my brother for life. 850 Road out now. Go purchase. Yeah, you know dude. Go listen. Fire, go bro. Yeah, fire. But he got he got some new stuff coming out. We're gonna get yeah, into that bro. right now. We're gonna get right. Into that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was at the show and some guy he hits me up on like Instagram telling me, oh, I loved your set and all this stuff. And you know, I like to, I'm very hands on with my fans. Yeah. And I was talking to him and I was like, oh, what do you like about it? Like, talk to me. He was like, oh, it felt like you were talking to me, mm -hmm. just to me. Right. And that's I, I picture that as really just kind of outstanding very spectacular because in a whole room where i'm just talking to everybody he felt the presence of me and him just him and i yeah. you know what i mean whatever i was saying up there you know what i mean exactly and like those little moments bro keep me going yeah it just keeps you raw it just keeps you yeah, yeah exactly. it keeps you going man that's why i do this shit man exactly so on your instagram you give a little excerpt about every single you drop i don't know if you you still do that about what uh, every single that you drop oh like, yeah song. talk about it and yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah so uh well, the one that was most intriguing to me was about Anissa. A girl oh, about Anissa. Yeah. Oh, and you're I kicking, Anissa. Oh. Yeah. So you're kicking, talking to this girl, kicking it with her for the whole night. Yeah. But just, you're talking, you can see like she didn't want to go home mm -hmm. because there's something there. So like, I want to hear more about that story, Basically, that metaphor. So I was with the homie. He dropped me off, right? Mm -hmm. And then I hear screaming outside. And then he was going to go home, but I was like, bet, bro, I'm going to check what's going on. Like, it's a girl screaming. Like, what man would turn on that? You know? Right. So I, I kind of walk towards her and then there's just two ladies kind of following her. And I guess Anissa, the, the girl, she's uh -huh. running away. And these two ladies work at a job that take runaways back to their homes. Okay. Yeah. So I get in the middle of it and I tell these old ladies, chill. Right. Like, chill. Like, I don't think you guys know what you're doing. And I'm talking to Anissa and she, at first she's being stubborn. Right. You exactly. know what I mean? Right. And I'm telling her like, hey, dude, I'm high too. Because <laughs> you know? I saw it in her eyes. Right. Dude. She's just like. You know, she's yeah. on something, and I'm like, it's okay. Like, And then I start just kind of breaking down each wall, breaking down each wall, just talking to her. Right. While these people were so eager to just, like, come back, come back. Right. I was actually kind of just talking to her, and we ended up talking the whole night, bro. Just right there. And then, but she wouldn't fucking tell me why she'd go home, and, like, it kind of made me sad. That's why I made the song, because, like, just realizing, like, damn... There's something she's hiding that she can't tell me. And it's like I'm anyone to her. Right. But the fact that she can't let it out, that that worries me. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm going to have a daughter one day. You know what right. I mean? Like, and I was grew, I grew up with women. Like, mm. if you just know me, that shit's not okay. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, of course, everyone thinks it's okay, but it just hurts me a lot. You right. know what I mean? Like, I feel this shit a lot. And I could just see in her eyes she was afraid to go back home. I don't know if it was something with her dad or something. And unfortunately, like, the police came and they told me, get the fuck out. <laughs> right. Yeah, literally, like, they told that's... me, you go. And I'm like, I don't get to say bye. They're like, nah, I'm like, whatever. But, but yeah, that's basically what happened. I just talked to her all night. We laughed and everything. And I just never got to find out why. But, and I could just see it in her eyes. She was just afraid. And it makes me just really sad just to know that she fears home. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. I don't feel like we should fear home. You know what I mean? Okay. At any age, a girl or a boy or anything, like, that's not cool, you know? And if you right. know me, like, I'm all about children, and that's just not okay with me, you yeah. know? Of course, man. That's yeah. Dope. That's dope to hear, man. 
you took time out your day to come for somebody you didn't even really know or even yeah, at all. Exactly, dude. Console it. I know that probably made a big impact on her life. I you hope know it did, bro. You know I'm, I really hope it did. I wish I could just see her one day. I swear I won't recognize her. Yeah, no. I am bad with faces. Yeah. <laughs> I even forgot her name like three times. Really? I had to ask her, what's your name again? <laughs> and that's why I or, called the song Anissa. Uh-huh. I called it her name because I kept forgetting her name in the right. moment. So I was like, <laughs> I told her too I'll make a song about her so like maybe one day she'll hear it you know yeah that'd be I good just, though I hope and pray she's okay I have a line where I say like I'm basically I'll remember it word for word but I'm a sinner by prayer you're okay you know yeah, what I mean exactly. and, like, I mean I'll be doing my fair share of bad shit but like I'll be praying for her you know and yeah. praying for others so I just I want her to be okay that's, you know that's real dope man thank you so uh in the song Perfect Toy you know what I'm saying so oh, baby <laughs> I saw you perform that live actually. Oh before, yeah! Before it even dropped that uh, Mark Battles is concert, yeah. which was dope. Actually, wow. it did drop before you got there, but it was mm-hmm. dope because there's the people, video. there was people in the crowd singing Sing. the song yeah, with, dude, with you. Yeah. <laughs> that was it's real precious, dope to see. Dude. So how did that song come about? Like, I know what I know what it's about. Yeah, but, like story time. Yeah, go so hit me with it. All right, so basically, I was talking with some girl, but I was like realizing it's going nowhere, mm-hmm. and I was kind of realizing like I'm not what she wants, and I. I was kind of trying to become something she wanted, but that's not me, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I had to realize that I can't just become this toy that just um, gets played with however she wants to, you know what I mean? Right. I even told that bitch about this. <laughs> <laughs> that ass, I was yeah. like, I'm making this tongue, yeah. this about this, about this. She didn't get the hit, yeah. but that's okay. But anyways, I went home the night I was hanging out with her, and the night I realized it, I just locked myself in my room, turned off my lights because I work in the dark. And I just made the song, you know, mm-hmm. and that was that was a very um, specific moment because I remember like tears coming out of my eyes, you know what I mean? Right. Sometimes when I make my music, sometimes I'm crying and shit, you know yeah. what I mean? And that's just what it is, you know? Exactly. But yeah, I just remember just making it there and making the chords and being so excited with tears in my eyes because it sounds so good, but at the same time, I'm so it's sad. So hurt, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and I recorded it and I didn't know it would have kind of a big impact. Yeah, man, this, it's real know? dope. And I just feel like it's going to keep getting bigger. Oh, bigger. it is. Yeah, of course, when you blow up, man, just, I mean, you're already big, but like, you're going to get any more big, I think that's going to be a hit. Yeah, we're sure. we on the mission, man. Exactly. Me and my ghost, man. That's real dope. Thank you. So in concert, you talked about you being in the hospital for a while. Mm, so yeah, I mean, I was blessed enough to be at your first show coming back. Yeah, which crazy. was dope. Yeah. It was real dope to I hear. Was this yeah, shit again, exactly. Dude. So can you talk to us about in yeah. depth about what happened to you? Yeah, of course. Um, so basically, last year I was spent some time in the hospital because um, oh, well, we don't know honestly. Mm. Um, I had bronchitis. Went to urgent care. Took some medicine. Next thing you know, I'm getting worse. And then next thing you know, next day I'm getting worse and worse, and I'm growing lesions all over my body. I don't know if you lesions are like little, like kind of like big old pimple type of things. Okay. But like I have a bunch of scars on my body because they left scars. Yeah. But anyways, um, next thing you know, I'm growing all these lesions. I'm losing my sight. Wow. I have lesions in my mouth, on my tongue. I can't like do shit. I can barely like get up or anything. And then damn, next thing you know, I'm in the hospital. My cousins take me over. Shout out to my cousins, always 100. They take me over there, and then they're just testing me, testing me, testing me, because they don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. So they're testing me for AIDS and shit, all sorts of stuff, bro. I'm like, I don't have AIDS, bro. <laughs> but like, yeah, and then the scariest part, I guess, I was there, and I was getting worse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there is where I technically lost my sight, because I lost my sight in the side. Oh, shit. Crazy, yeah, and I couldn't walk or anything, and it was just really bad. But yeah, I was in there for a while. And I just kept kind of getting worse. And gradually, I started getting better. You know, of course, and stuff. But yeah, a lot of shit happened to me in there. But basically, I just... We don't know why I was in there. Really? That's interesting, man. Yeah. And um, my girl's with there with me. And she was being very, like, supportive the whole time and everything. And then just one night, she kind of just snapped. She just snapped, and she just didn't want anything to do with me. And I'm like, baby, not right now. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm going, you know? Like... Not right now, like, but she did it, and she did it through a text and everything, and then I felt really, like, disrespected, very, like, stupid, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, damn, like, I gave you my everything, you know what I mean? Because I did give him my everything, I'm not gonna lie, and we went through a lot of shit together in such a short span of time, and then just out of nowhere, she just, like, drops, and then I start seeing what this other fuck nigga, <laughs> yeah, bro, and I'm just like, what's going on, dude? Right. Like, don't do me like that, like, you know? Yeah, man. 
But I, hey, I learned a lot. I learned not to okay. rush anything. There you go. I'm not rushing anything. Hey. At least if you're interested, we're not rushing anything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Exactly. So, I mean, that experience had you a different perspective on life, but it yeah. plays a huge role in your music as well. Yeah. You can actually hear the I got more content, it. baby. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right? I got so, more content. I mean, bro. like, after the incident with the hospital, was it straight to the studio or was it kind of um, like. I wish. No, no. I had to. I was I had to stay home for a long time okay. and then see um, um an in home nurse. Okay. And I still take some medicines and breathing treatments and stuff right. like that. So I'd still be on some shit, but not as bad as right. You being there. You don't take it for granted at all. No, yeah, that was actually one of the hardest parts after the hospital. And you would think it'd be in the hospital, but just the after, because um, I got addicted to Percocets and shit. Okay. So I was very like I had a lot of withdrawals, mm. a lot of like suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. Like yeah. I would try to stay in contact with at least one friend each like hour a day, just so I can feel at ease. You know what I mean? Right. And like I'm dealing with this heartbreak and I'm tripping and this this, this girl's tripping me out and I'm just like, oh. like it was honestly one of the toughest times, honestly. Yeah, man. Being out there, you know. That guy's. Yeah, but shout out to everyone that came to see me, bro. Honestly, including my friends and family, my ghosts. 850 came to see me. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was real dope, man. It was good. That what brought you guys close? I mean, let's talk about that. The relationship with ASCII. I mean, how does that come up come about? Was it just, just a long time ago, just on Twitter. Yeah. We just started talking on Twitter and we gradually just started just talking to each other. That's real dope. Yeah, man. And then he would help me out with my songs because like, you know him, he's really inclined and he's people are like afraid to talk to him, bro. Yeah. But like he gives great advice. He does. You know what I mean? Same with Christopher, yeah. uh, kind of by Chris great advice and then we just gradually just started talking and becoming really close and then the hospital showed me that he's really cares yeah because bet story time so <laughs> um i was in the hospital it was like my third day there and i was there with 850 and my brother next thing you know a nurse comes running in she's telling everybody we need it we need you guys to go we think it's in, like contagious uh -huh. and it's just it was just crazy because i was drugged up i remember just laying down and looking at asking them and they're sanitizing their whole bodies and taking them out and i'm just crying because i Fuck, is this the point that we're... This, is this what we're doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't see my friends, you know what I mean? Next couple of days, Askin comes back all suited up, bro. Askin, Chris, and Adrian, they come with, like, suited up with, like, mask and, like, looking like Michelin men, yeah. nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. But just to come see me, like, regardless, you know? Yeah, and really. I thought, I thought that was kind of, like, quite amazing, you know what I mean? I was like, damn, aw. You know? <laughs> yeah. My friends, yeah. you know? That's real, though, yeah. man. That's so, real. our relationship just keeps growing. So it's deeper than music, man. Yeah. Honestly, oh yeah. With us, it's deeper than music, bro. Yeah. That's sick, man. That's yeah. dope. I'll ride for him. He'll ride for us. Exactly. So you're a great storyteller. I mean, as you can see, I mean, that's yeah, your... I love storytelling. Yeah, I know. So how did how did you become so good at storytelling? Story not just in person, but just in your music, music as well. Secret. Working with kids, bro. Yeah. I yeah. Like I used to work with kids, bro. I was, dude, I was a beast, bro. All the children loved me. Yeah. But. You know, as kids, there's story time, bro. Yeah. So I would set up everybody, like, in a circle or whatever, and I would stand up and just, like, tell my stories and stuff off the dome, too, dude. That's off the dope. Dome, like, I was freestyling <laughs> stories, bro. But I was really good at it. And that's when I noticed that I can handle an audience. Mm -hmm. That's when I noticed it. Just because kids are an audience, too, you know? Right, People don't realize that. And kids have, like, shorter attention spans, you know? And right. if I can get them little niggas to listen to me... I get anybody listening to me. That's a fact. Yeah, and I just kind of learned like that. like, And then I started being more creative with my stories at work. Right. Like I started getting my speaker and putting like monster sounds and I would press play. I oh, that's bars, You know what I mean? <laughs> right. But yeah, like I would make it really creative, you know? Right. With either like the babies or even like the older kids, you know what I mean? That's real sick. And that just helped me just fight my fear of audiences. Yeah. The and music. when it comes into music, my bad. I mean, no, 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 go ahead, go. But when it comes to the music and my storytelling, I guess I don't know. It just came kind of just, just came natural the way it does for you. Yeah, no, that's dope, man. Yeah, like there's songs I like, like a lot of Eminem songs. Cause his storytelling is great. Tupac has great storytelling. Oh yeah, too, of course. You know what I mean? Brandon's got a baby. <laughs> that that was crazy. That's a yeah. crazy story. Yeah, right. Yeah, and that's they, the way he tells yeah, it consistently. Like, I don't know. It just kind of just came to me. You that's a good trick to have, though, as a musician yeah. and an artist, and as just a person. I think so too, because it gives people dope. a story to relate to. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, and that's why I think people like like you so much because yeah. you're relatable and you tell your stories the way you do. I'm not afraid to be myself, bro. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm, that's what I'm pushing, bro. I don't want people to be afraid to be themselves. Like, I want people to just be 100 with themselves. You know what I mean? Right. Except the bad in themselves, too. People have trouble with that. Yep. You know what I mean? Because we think about a lot like, oh, 
I have to accept the pain someone inflicted on me. We also have to accept the pain inflicted on others. You know what I mean? Right. There's been bad shit I've done, you know what I mean? And I kind of just have to accept it. Like, okay, I did this. I was fucked up, you know? Also in relationships, like I learned to not only blame the other person. Right. Like I blame us or I blame myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I feel like just once you learn all those little details, embrace yourself, bro. You breathe. Easy. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. <laughs> What's up? So let's get back. Let's get into the project you're about to drop, man. Yeah, let's do so it. So you dropped an album or EP, Room 95, right? Yeah. Oh no, that's the, the, that's the album, Room yeah. 95. So what can we expect from this project as opposed from your EP, uh, Exit, Exit 95? 95? Um, more, way more vulnerable. Okay. Way more vulnerable. Way more singing and stuff. Um, dope ass features. You know, some dope ass features. Can we, get, can we get a name of this? Yeah, man, I got um, the King Aski, you okay. know. There you go. I got my fellow Ghost, Boti. And dope. then I got the Arizona's Ladies, man, Young Reese, bro. There, oh, you got Young Reese on there? Yeah, man. That's what's up, yeah. man. Are you, you and Young Reese cool? Yeah, we're like, pretty cool, man. That's dope. Yeah, we chopped it up on FaceTime, you know, us and Truly and everything. We just talked about that's it, really you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's and it. it's sounding good, bro. Oh, hell yeah. yeah I can't yeah, wait to hear that. It's a great voice, This is crazy, It's really cool. It's going to be vulnerable. It's going to be... Are we gonna have some like lit tracks to that? Are we gonna have um, some? There's like one, okay. but it's mostly just the pop songs. There you, go. Lie, hey. you know what I mean? They're pop songs, they're vulnerable, they're emotional, and they tell a lot. Yep. You know what I mean? Like I am telling these people what the fuck happened to me. You know, exactly. in essence. And whether they like it or not, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Exactly. And that's like my model. That's niggas be hating on that model, but right. I do whatever the fuck I want. You know what I mean? And exactly. no one's gonna stop me, and that includes music. Yeah. So I'm, in this album, it's just a lot of that. Doing That's whatever dope. I want. <laughs> so who's who's producing on this? Have we got, are we getting oh, counted by Chris? Uh, or no, you? it's just me. Okay, honestly. hey, that dope. Man. Yeah, me and Chris working on some though. Yeah? You got, you got something in the works? Okay, shh. We keep it out on the hush, man. Yeah, you know how we're doing, bro. Exactly. You know I mean? so, so what else are you excited about this project? I mean, how mm-hmm. long has it been since you dropped? Exit 95? Yeah, you dropped Exit 95. X, I dropped Exit... 17? Yeah, 2017. Hey, okay. No shit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, we dropped in 2017, and then I had all this high school stuff happening right. and everything. But I guess the difference between it is just... It's more vulnerable, dude. Yeah, it's, that's it's real dope, dude. Yeah. I, know yeah. the, I know the Ghost Gang fam is going to be really yeah. excited for this. I mean, anticipation. Yeah, bro. And my 95ers, bro. That's what we're calling my fans now. 95ers. 95ers there bro. we go. I call you all Ghost Gang. My bad. No, they are Ghost too, bro. Yeah, there we go. So yeah. let's, let's get into Ghost Game. Where did that come from? I mean, just about some new homies, bro. Yeah. Basically, because everybody in our group, musically, and not even musically, you don't even have to do music, but everybody in our group, we're very secluded from everybody, okay. you know? Like, we like to keep our distance. Right. We like to stay in the shadows and yeah. the walls, like ghosts. You know what I mean? Exactly. So that's kind of where it came from. I'm like the forefront, you know what I mean? Right. But like, we have just all my homies, and we just like to be in the shadows. That's we dope. prefer doing things that way. That's you really know sick. what I mean? So then it's more surprising when it hits. That's oh, yeah. beautiful. It is. It really yeah, is. Yeah, you know, and you don't even have to do music, bro. My exactly. boy Luis just copped a house, bro. Right. Dude, he's starting a family. That's some real nigga shit, bro. You Honestly. know what I mean? Yeah. We all on to something. We're all working on something. That's dope. Nigg- niggas be asking me how my engineer Rudy looks like. <laughs> well, I didn't tell him. <laughs> uh-uh. like, yeah, yeah, people wonder, dude, because right. I tell them about Rudy, because Rudy goes hard. My engineer goes hard. Shout out to my engineer. But people are wondering, like, why haven't we seen him? Why doesn't he come to your shows? I'd be like, just don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> yeah, dope. Man, so we go Keep that him. level of, you know, mysteri- m- mysteriousness, yeah. but it's also genuine. And it's dope. Yeah, we like mystery, too. Especially when it comes to my personality. People meet me, yeah. they're like, oh, man, I thought you'd be a sad all the time. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy, bro. Just like the music. Just yeah, the music. man. Yeah, this is the music, man. The music yeah. is where I become vulnerable. It's where I escape. Hey, that's dope, man. That's mm-hmm. good to hear. So... I mean, we talked about a lot, man. Just everything from social justice to your music to people you you admire. But you know, yeah. I think one of the things that hit home for hip hop this week has been the death of <sighs> Nipsey Hussle. So I just yeah, wanted to true. get your opinions and your thoughts on what Nipsey Hussle meant for you as just a musician and just as a person. I know for me, it hit a little close to home because what he's been doing out in the yeah. community. It's something that we be doing out in the community, just trying to keep everybody off the streets and mm-hmm. give them a purpose. And just, just to lose somebody like that. Is just he's a remarkable man. Like, just the way he moved, he made everything special. You know what I mean? And he's but, a street nigga, man. He made course. everything so special in the way he just pushed his just his store and how he actually helped out the community. Yeah. And that's what saddens me so much. Like, the first thing I did was call my brother because he's a big Nipsey fan. Yeah. But, like, I was just so sad at the fact that people went for him. You know what I mean? Right. 
that this guy helps home. You know mm. what I mean? Like this guy's helping out at home. And that's the type of energy I'm gonna be on one day. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm gonna walk around with my football team though. Ain't nobody fucking yep. touching yeah, I me. I saw that too. I saw yeah, that too. Bro. <laughs> like ain't nobody touching me, bro. Cause uh-huh. like I'll be damned if some nigga tries to shoot me in front of my elementary school. Like, right. no. But like it's just saddening because you I could get catch slipping. You know yeah. what I mean? Just like he did and it just it wasn't it's just I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just not right. It's not, man. You know what I mean? Like too soon he didn't deserve it no you know what i mean yeah. like in what aspect did he deserve that like why did that person have to fucking do that you know right. i don't care about y'all beef if y'all have beef you know like exactly he, he means something to the world why would you take that from from us you know right. it's just, uh, just exactly you know, man you know my bad I mean, nah my hey bad. man that was a tough question to, to mm-hmm. answer and to get so it's good to hear your take on it as yeah. well as uh, everybody else's you know on yeah, twitter and everything it just yeah because i know people are trying to reach the same goal right you know like when it comes to ASCII I know ASCII's trying to help out the community yeah. I know other niggas are trying to ask help, help out the community I am too you know yeah. what I mean and that's just kind of scary it makes you think man maybe I shouldn't stay at home you know maybe I shouldn't come back it makes me feel like maybe I'm not safe at home and I don't want to feel that you know it's come back just like Anissa you know exactly. Anissa didn't feel safe at home you know why is it suddenly now we're not feeling safe at home right. you know I get it it's the hood and all you know but like Shit, man, don't you want to come back and make shit better? It's just, exactly. It's just, it's just a whole messed up world that we're living in, man. And it's just, we got to fix it. We yeah, man. Know what, we got to do it. We gotta I continue. think it starts with the children, man. Of course. I, yeah, I, I that's why I'm big on children, bro. If I can find a way to impact the children and make them, because you can't stop everybody from making mistakes. Exactly. Like risk. But I, you got children, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the children. Gotta, plant a seed. I just got to, I want to really plant a seed. For the children, just to find a way out, because they're they're if anyone's gonna make a change, it's gonna be them. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's gonna be them. You know what I mean. And we just have to work work on making the world better for them. Exactly. You know, they're the only ones that are gonna change. Yeah. yeah. On, on, on that note, man, I'm a, I'm gonna actually let you do your sign off, man, and do your where they where can they find you at? Because I mean, you're very in, inspirational, man, and philosophical. So I mean, no, go yeah, ahead, man. Go, go ahead, plug yourself, man. Find me at Instagram, bro. Nine D five. Underscore underscore you'll see my beautiful picture right there. You know what I mean? Just hit me up and follow bro DM me bro talk to me like don't be a stranger You know some some people I feel like are afraid to talk to me for some reason. I'm like the nicest guy You know what oh I mean? for real I can I can attest to that. Yeah, I like, do that like I'm real kind, you know, I'm precious bro They call me precious bro. <laughs> so like fuck with me fuck with my sound give my music a chance bro Stop sleeping cuz then it's gonna be too late Exactly. So now. And hey, tune in. Room 95 coming out real yeah. soon. You go ahead. April 12th, baby. April, April 12th, 12th, man. Like, be on the lookout. Dude. It's going to be it's gonna be something else, bro. It's exactly. going to be something else. Something real special from the heart. Always, bro. That's and remember, cool. I just want to say something. Just so anybody looking, like, remember just how important it is to be yourself. Like, I know that sounds cliche and all that stuff, but just remember, like, the moment you tune in to yourself and you learn to embrace yourself, then you're not gonna be afraid of shit. You're not gonna be afraid to take risk. You're not gonna be afraid to do this or do that or like. And most importantly, follow what the fuck you fuck you like. You know, your dream doesn't have to be spectacularly big. You know, your dream just has to be you. There you Simple. go, man.